Well, hello, friends. Um, today, we are going to work a little bit on the um, shell, I guess. So you ever notice in Linux, when you are typing something in your um, shell here, like lol, and then you press Control L, then it will clear the terminal uh, and give you like the, um, your prompt. And then whatever you were working on typing is still there. So it's like you get a clean slate. Um, if you do the same thing in Serenity, then not much cool happens because I guess that is a feature of bash. So press control L, nothing particularly awesome, right? It just does that. So we should definitely implement this. And I'm thinking that we should do it in the shell so that um, whenever it gets like the um, control L pressed on the keyboard, then we will just do a little clear, um, put the prompt back, and um, you know whatever you have been typing, we'll put that there as well. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Um, the first thing is we need to figure out what the hell is Control L, right? So we'll just make a dummy file, and I'll press Control V, Control L, just so we get the Control L character here in the TTY, and then we'll just hex dump that, and then we can find out that it's this character, um, hex C. Okay, and then we'll go in the shell line editor, I guess. Um, and uh, where the hell do we do this? I haven't looked at this code for a while. I think here's where we parse interesting input characters. So here's, um, we check for backspace, we check for word arrays, we check for line kill. And if it's not one of all of these things here, then we just print out the character. <clears throat> so before we print out the character, we should also check if it's, I guess, hex C. And we'll even put like a little comment here so that we know what this is. Um, do we have some clear thing? No, then I guess we can just do, um, what the hell is the clear thing again? I, I think I have it in clear CPP. Yeah, <laughs> this is seriously cheating, but I have the escape sequence for clear here. So I don't remember exactly how it, how it was implemented. So we're just going to cheat and do it this way. And um, after we clear, uh, then we are also going to print out whatever is in the line editor buffer. So the line editor has, has a vector of characters called M buffer. So we, I guess, are just going to print that out. Um, okay, then we'll see what print of, or wait, how, how does this work again? M buffer. I guess we should do um, for in time. M buffer size. Um, Something like that. And um, we'll do that. Put C and buffer I to stood out. I think generally this will kind of work. Um, the main issue, I guess, now is that we're not going to print out the prompt. Um, but I mean, let's just see that the clearing and everything worked out nicely to test it. Hello, clear? Yeah, okay, so, hi. Hello, control L. Oh, we're still adding the control L. We don't want to do that. Because that's an um, uninteresting character that we should not be including. So we'll just continue. Because here we're, and we're in this I think called line editor get line. I should have talked about this, I guess. Um, the way that the main loop in the shell is set up is that uh, here's the main loop of the program. Like once we've initialize everything, then we print a prompt, and then we ask the editor object for a line. If the line is empty, we ignore it, otherwise we try to run the command, and then we add it to the history. So this is the whole main loop of the shell, very, very complicated. Um, so I guess when you press Control L, then we're going to want to print out the prompt again. Um, but we don't want to leave get line until we've gotten the line. So we should probably just be passing in the prompt here um, so that the editor, the line editor class can do whatever he wants with it. And then we'll just make 
prompt return a string. Um, and in this case, for the root shell, it's very easy. We just do that. Otherwise, let's see, let's make a string builder and then we can just convert this printf code here to just use string builder appendf, which is honestly a really, really comfy API. Um, to string, okay, so here's this, there's this fancy prompt. The, um, the reason that it's so big and, and chunky is because of, uh, I guess, because of this part here. Uh, this is an, an X term escape sequence that is used to set the terminal title, which is exactly the same thing as uh, you have on, on like a Linux system or whatever, right? Like you notice that when I change directories, then the title bar here changes the title. So we support that too in the terminal here. Anyway, so now we're we passing in the string, the prompt string, but um, we have to update this guy here to actually take a string as well. So we'll just call that prompt. And uh, here's this guy, prompt string prompt. So I guess the first thing we'll do in here is just uh, print out the prompt. Uh, rather F puts, is it F puts? Yeah. Stout, flush stout. Um, F put us and put us, or puts and F puts, they have this subtle difference and it's so annoying. I, I always hated this ever since I learned about it, but F put us does not add an extra new line and put us does. So like if you do put s prompt characters, um, then you will get a new line after the, the prompt, but uh, I don't know, it's just like, it's deceptive because this one defaults to using standard out and, and this one you have to specify the file and then the behavior is still different. Anyways, um, I'm sure that if you use these functions then you, you came across that and you thought it was weird too. So the interesting here now, thing here now is that we want to also print out the prompt um, when we've pressed control L. So down here. Um, before we do the characters, actually, oops. So like that, you can put it like that. Um, and then I guess the final remaining thing is the um, cursor. So um, the shell has like line editing, right? That's why we're in a class called line editor. So it can do stuff like, you know, you can edit in the middle of the line and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that the cursor is updated. Um, let's see, foo, and then control L. Okay, so that part looks good. But if I move the cursor, uh, let's go down here and say bar, and then move the cursor here and press control L. Now we're back here. Even though I think, logically speaking, the cursor is um, not exactly where I thought it was. Yeah, right. So things were just very confused. Uh, so we have to move the um, cursor to where it should be on the line. And um, let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? I guess we just go left by a number of steps. Would that be the easiest? So left motion is this escape sequence here. Um, So after we've done the printout of the current buffer, then we'll say for int m cursor. Um, and maybe it's the buffer size minus the cursor actually that we want to move. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I hope it makes sense. And then we'll do that. So move left. I guess actually we could put out an integer here because let me look in the um, terminal how we implement this. So the D escape sequence or capital D takes out a parameter, which is the number of, it is new column, 
Right, it's the number of steps to move left. Right, right, right. So we can actually maybe do something more like this. If printf, no, we just need printf, and then we will just say um, m buffer size minus m cursor. And ah, oh, shit, it should have been percent d like that. Okay, we have to. Oh, and we actually want to do like that. All right. Come on, man. It's nice to um, to show the shell in the video. Actually, I haven't been I've been um, doing any real shell stuff lately. Um. So let's see. Foo. Okay, the, I immediately see that it doesn't do exactly the right thing. So it goes one step to the left of where we should be. Um, so let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, why is that? I mean, all right, well, I'll just... Um, Say if m cursor is greater than zero, then we do that. I'm confused. Percent D. Is that not how you do that? Um, oh shit, wait. Um, foo bar. Yeah, that is how you do that. Okay. Let's um, help ourselves a little bit here. Just make sure that we are printing out the right thing. By showing it on the debugger also. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Mm. Wait, oh, this is not even showing up on the bottom of it. This is so weird. I don't understand anything. Did I even rebuild? All right, stop screwing around and let's make progress. It's so weird that nothing is showing up on the debugger. What the hell is up with that? Oh, 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 I see. I see. Okay, so this is the first problem that we're doing the minus one. That's not what we want. We want, um... I guess if it's greater than that, then we want to see this many steps. And then, yeah, so the reason that this was not working is because that we were not um, flushing it. There was no move on. Um, and then now it's not showing the right thing. So anyways, we'll, we'll probably just make it work anyway. All right, come here, you. Mm. 
No? Hi there. Hmm. It still doesn't feel right. Okay, so why is this going on? Um, I just want to look at it. <sighs> it's Friday evening and I'm making a video because I didn't have one this morning, so um, making one now instead. Tap, 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 tap. What did I want to do? Ah, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I can tell that I'm a little bit tired because I keep thinking, like, what am I doing here? Um, okay, so then what about bar dash dash dash? Oh, right, because then there was the cursor was zero. Oh. Um, so I guess what we actually want is if cursor is not buffer size. So this cursor is before the buffer size. Does that make sense? Because I guess the cursor um, is like one past the end of the buffer if it's if you're on the rightmost position. I should know this because I wrote this program, but I, I forget. Um, okay, so now it's not doing the right thing because now we're moving too many steps. Buffer size minus. Okay. I I feel like I'm just changing the numbers now without thinking. <sighs> Why is this type of shit so difficult for me? Can you explain? Like this little off by one things. I mean, I know the, the the meme about like how they are one of the most difficult things in programming, and it really is true for me too. Like I struggle so much with these freaking off by one things. No, that was a double. That's not what I wanted. So, ah. <laughs> like off by one, and also like which direction is positive and which one is negative, is weirdly difficult I think like it's not supposed to be this difficult but it is yeah now it's doing the right thing so <laughs> let's go down here and we'll type bar control L X, 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 X. yeah it's doing the right thing and then we'll go down here that foo go to the start of the line press control L and we are at the start of the line wow this was very difficult for something so simple uh, okay, so then we'll go down here, press LS, control L, enter, and it works finally the way that it's supposed to. Ugh. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for sticking it out with me. So let's see what we have here in a patch review. So uh, first thing we did was make get line take the prompt so that we can show the prompt when we clear the screen again. Um, and of course, when we enter here, we have to show the prompt initially, because that was previously done down here by the main loop. Okay, and then when we get the control L character, now we clear the screen. I guess we can say that here just to be friendly. Clear screen, move left, um, cursor, and steps left. Very informative. Okay, and I won't do that. Okay, so then we print out the prompt again after we clear. And we print out whatever was in the buffer. And then if the cursor is not at the right most side of the um, editing buffer, then we move the cursor left so that it's where it should be. And then finally, we flush std out because std out is line buffered. So we have to flush it to get our stuff to come out. And other than that, that's it. Okay, and then here we're just changing the um, header, the 
declaration of get line, say text to prompt. And then down here in prompt in main, where we generate our prompt. Previously, this would print out the prompt, but now it generates a prompt and returns it. So in the case for UID zero, it's very simple, but for um, for the non-root case, then we use a builder to simplify constructing a string like this. Okay, I think that's cool. So let's go ahead and commit this. And let's make sure we write a good boy commit message so that it looks nice in our log. Um, implement support for um, terminal uh, clearing with control L. Um, yeah, I, I was just sitting here thinking like, is this um, this way of expressing control L, like does everyone understand that? And I think that if you're working with Unix, then you, you do understand that. So uh, let's put that there. Um, make the line editor, make line editor get line responsible for printing the prompt. Well, that way um, we can reprint, uh, reprompt when, uh, after clearing the screen on control L. Um, this uh, makes the um, serenity terminal feel a little bit more like home. Nice. Cool. Okay, let's see this beautiful thing in action one more time. Hello, friends. Tap. And then let's do hello friends. Da, 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 da. Da. Cool. All right. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, so if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and for sticking it out with me through that stupid um, off by one <laughs> trouble I was having. So uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.